This is Dolan Fraser from the Vineyard Best Life at 60, and today I'm going to be making a tamale casserole. We're going to need one pound of ground beef, an onion, two cloves of garlic, cooking spray to spray our pan, a third a cup of enchilada sauce, a half a cup of sour cream, salt and pepper, a tablespoon of olive oil, a box of corn muffin mix, one teaspoon each of cumin and chili powder, a half a cup of cream corn, two cups of cheese, and one egg. So let's get started. We need to preheat our oven to 400 degrees and then take our casserole dish and spray it with cooking spray. We're gonna mix together our corn muffin mix, our half a cup of sour cream, our half a cup of cream corn, and our egg. We're gonna stir this together until all our ingredients are completely combined. Now we're gonna put our mixture inside our prepared pan. We're gonna spread this evenly across the bottom of our pan. We're gonna bake this uncovered at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. Now it's time to chop our onion and our two cloves of garlic. We're gonna set these aside. We're gonna heat our two tablespoons of olive oil over medium heat. We're gonna add our onion and garlic, salt and pepper, a teaspoon of chili powder, and a teaspoon of cumin. We're gonna stir until the spices are completely mixed in. We're gonna let this cook for about five minutes. Now it's time to add our ground beef. We're gonna thoroughly cook our ground beef and break it into small pieces. We're gonna take a fork and we're gonna pierce holes all the way through our tamale crust. I've let mine cool so it's easier for me to handle, but you can do this immediately right out of the stove if you're in a hurry to get it served. Now we're gonna take our third cup enchilada sauce and spread it across the top of our crust. Mine is actually homemade and I've included a link to a video on how to make homemade enchilada sauce in the description. You want to smooth this completely across your crust. And once again, it makes it a little easier to handle if it's cooled down. Now we're going to add our beef. If there's a lot of excess fat, go ahead and drain it. We're going to spread our meat across evenly. Now we're going to top it with two cups of cheese. We're going to cover our pan. And if you're doing this over a hot pan, just use your pot holders to help you get it covered. We're going to bake this for another 20 minutes at 400 degrees. Our tamale casserole looks and smells delicious. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe. Thank you for cooking with me.